I've lost track of how many times I've been asked the question, when is FPC Dallas reopening for in-person gatherings and worship? In the time since we've had to close, I've wanted nothing more than to fling open our doors and usher our church family into our sanctuary for worship. Instead, I've had to say, not yet. Well, today I have a different answer to that question that we have all been asking. Based on the recommendation of our reopening task force to your session, and because of the progress being made in Dallas County, we are ready to begin gradually reopening the FPC Dallas campus. Let that sink in for a moment. After a year of waiting, we get to come back together again. So go ahead, join me in exhaling. It is time for a little bit of joy and excitement over seeing friendly faces that we have not seen in a while. We will be reopening our campus in an incremental and most importantly safe way. So while I don't quite get to fling the doors to the sanctuary all the way wide open yet, I'm still thrilled to open them part of the way. So when do we get to meet? Beginning Sunday, April the 11th, you are invited to join us at 11 a.m. in our sanctuary in downtown Dallas at the corner of Light and Love. To make this work, we're modifying some of what you might be used to on Sunday morning as we gradually reopen our campus for worship. We'll be limiting worship to 100 guests a week and pre-registration will be required to reserve your seat. Now we're asking you to limit yourself on how often you register for worship so that we can make room for others in our congregation as we practice cycling in and out and taking turns. After watching your incredible response to the pandemic, I have full faith that our church body will be willing to make room for others on Sunday morning. Another note, there will be no other programming on campus on Sunday mornings. For now, Adult Sunday School will continue to meet on Zoom instead of in person. Childcare isn't returning yet, but as always, children of all ages are welcome in worship. As we get closer to April 11th, we will share worship registration details with you. We'll also give you a comprehensive FAQ about the new Sunday morning experience. So be sure to keep reading our weekly emails for timely information about our gradual return to campus. And of course, if you aren't ready to return, that's okay. We'll continue our live stream every Sunday morning on Facebook and YouTube. As always, loving each other and caring for our neighbors by prioritizing safety and health remains our focus. So while what I've laid out are our plans, we're also committed to being flexible as circumstances change. Even as we look forward to being together, please continue praying for the health of all God's people and the medical professionals that have been charged with taking care of us. One last thing. I'd be remiss if I didn't take a moment to say thank you. In the past year, you have demonstrated that a church is not a building, but a gathering of people committed to following the way of Jesus together. You were patient. You trusted your session and reopening task force and you put the well-being of our neighbors first by waiting for our return to the church building to happen at the right time. You could have stopped there, but you didn't. Over the last year, we have set new standards for engagement. More people are worshiping with us now than before the pandemic. Support for our ministry through the stew pot went way up. You've helped each other learn how to do church over Zoom. You have welcomed in neighbors without power during the storm. You brought groceries to church members during the lockdown. And you cared for each other by checking in with phone calls and prayers and porch visits. You have been the church this year. And I couldn't be more grateful to be a part of this congregation. We haven't been on hold this past year. And this past year has not been a lost year. And now that we can join together again, I can't wait to see where God leads us in the days and months to come.